a short overview about the educational and system software which comes with Labdo laptops. We install Lubuntu with the LXDE desktop. You will find a lot of useful software for education, for games, for graphic internet or office application, programming, very, very useful and, and powerful programs and also tools to allow disabled person or handicapped person to use the system in a better way. I will start the Gcompris suite. It is a collection of about 100 educational programs and this will start and offer you tools to introduce four, five, six year old children into computer uh, usage. And I will show just one short example, a program to buy goods, to use money, and this seven dollar has to be clicked and if you write, the clown will laugh. Just one short example, there are much, much more tools and programs you will find inside the documentation, you will find a list of uh, the tools. Another example is LibreOffice Writer, a tool like Word. You can write letters in a very easy, but if you need it, also very complex way. You can export it as PDF. You can store it in various formats. Or you can change your system settings, e.g. the monitor settings. Uh, if you want to change it, you can do so. Please don't forget to apply and save it, otherwise it will be set it will use the old settings. You can change, uh, add new printers, uh, etc. The taskbar, you can also add or remove functions. These are the preset functions. You can add more functionality and using the up and down button, you can move it within the taskbar. There are icons for keyboard layout, for network, um, battery information, CPU information, a lot of um, useful tools to give you an overview about your system. Or you can log in, log out, reboot the system at any time. Another useful uh, tool is the Software Center. This is a nice tool to give you an overview which software is available in Internet. To download, you must be connected to Internet. And if there is a hook, you will know that this program is already installed. Um, most of the programs are for free. Some have a price, but that is uh, your decision if you buy software or not. There's about 80,000 tools for free in the internet to use. There's another tool, Synaptic, which is more technical, also useful to install software. So if you don't find the software you're looking for in the Lubuntu Software Center, look for it in, in uh, Synaptic. I will show you how to install Skype as an example. You search for it, it will give you a list. You can click on Skype mark for installation. It will show you what has to be installed. Apply and it will start. Depending on the speed of your internet connection and of your CPU it will take several minutes. Um, we are not wait for the whole time and it's also possible to um, do things in parallel. You can start other programs, you can uh, do things in between and it will run for some minutes in the background. 
so you can look for other tools it's a very very useful information uh, system If you are not connected to the internet, there is a tool which is called APT Offline. Uh, it is possible that helpers bring you, visitors bring you uh, downloaded software and updates uh, with a USB stick and you can do everything offline, it's also possible. So it's done, we close the window. Now Skype is in the internet programs, you can add it to desktop, so you have an easy access and you can start Skype from desktop. If you know the program name, you can start it also by typing in the program name and run it. Hard Info is a very powerful tool to give you an overview about your hardware. There's a summary telling you the most important things, but you can also look for operating system, for file system, for display CPU processor information. It will tell you a lot of details about the hardware. If several processors are installed, uh, just click one and you will see the information and also the capabilities e.g. if PAE is possible or not possible. So this overview was a short introduction. I hope you enjoy your system and if you need further information just contact the LabDo team. Thank you.